Hello, I'm Paul Franklin and uh, I'm talking to you here from the set at Dimension where we have been shooting a virtual production test with this high resolution LED wall. And what this technology allows us to do is to create sets, environments, landscapes, all on the same stage. So rather than physically build a set, we create a computer generated image of the environment and play it back on this screen. And the really clever thing is that Unlike a regular scenic backdrop or just a rear projection or something like that, this environment is a live 3D world. And so we're creating a virtual stage but then filming it all in camera. Because virtual sets have existed for a long time in visual effects using green screen where we have to then replace the green later on in post-production. But this adds an extra dimension to the process and makes it so much more immediate and you get all the benefits of live photography on the day as it were and potentially you can get everything without having to do any additional post-production. But there are other things as well this process offers which is the flexibility of working with computer graphics and computer animation. We can add effects animation like explosions, and fire and lighting changes all of which would be very difficult, very time consuming and potentially even dangerous to do on a physical set. So it gives you uh, the best of both worlds the flexibility of a visual effects process, but then the immediate realism of actual photography. And uh, the, everything we've learned this week just shows how exciting this process is. And I personally speaking as a filmmaker, I cannot wait to jump deeper into this and really start finding out what we can do with this process. So I'm uh, Jack James uh, and I run a company with my business partner Dan Hamill called 86 Limited. Uh, we provide video equipment to the film industry and particularly focusing on virtual production. Um, so obviously the setup that we have today is something that's really exciting for us to be involved with um, and working with Dimension, uh, Ari and Unreal um, who are all sort of top of their game is, is also really exciting to us. Behind me here we've got a uh, setup which is essentially a test stage. Um, so we've got a 2mm screen at the back and then a ceiling that's made out of a uh, 3mm product which is a lightweight carbon product. Uh, and then the two side screens are being used for essentially lighting and um, reflection. Uh, and they are both a 5mm outdoor product which is inherently brighter than the other screens that we have here today. So we've been shooting here all week, um, supported by ARRI, um, Moses Technologies, Unreal Engine, and doing a shoot that's been directed by Paul Franklin, uh, the founder and creative director of DNEG. Um, and we're shooting some scenes made by Dimension. So what we're shooting right now is actually um, the kind of thing that we'll be shooting in future. So we went to the Pembrokeshire countryside and shot a scene uh, using photogrammetry. Um, and then we brought it into our studio where we can move around it as a virtual set with our actor in front of it. So this has huge possibilities for what it can do in filmmaking. Um, you'll have seen the use of this technology um, from Disney in Mandalorian. Um, and it's the first time this has been used in this way in the UK. We're having to make programs in a different way at the moment and that's probably unlikely to change for quite some time but there are some benefits. Um, we have our, you know, the people who made this scene are joining us remotely from Gateshead in the north of England. You know, uh, we're able to patch in anybody in the world. Uh, we're providing feeds to various parts of the production remotely and we only have the people that are needed on set here today. Hi. My name is Michael Geisler and I'm the CEO of Moses Engineering and it's great to be involved here and what we're putting together is a new way of filming and it will change the way the industry is working. What we contribute is the camera tracking but we also assist on how to sort of get the unreal side with our Moses VP uh, to be manageable. So this little cube is figuring out where the camera is and he does that with these stickers on the floor. Uh, you equally could have them on the side, on the edges or on the ceiling. Uh, and then we know 
it calculates where the camera is and where the chip is. And that helps us to calculate the perspective of what needs to be rendered in the, um, on the video wall in the background. So virtual production using LED stages is an emerging area. It's, in some ways it's still at the prototype phase, uh, but it benefits from a capability that we have at Dimension and we've developed over the last six years, which uh, you'll see on the LED stage today, the environment, the scene has been powered by Unreal Engine and the scene that we created. Uh, we've always focused on exploring cinematic content and how we can advance the production capabilities around that, not just for storytelling on the big screen, but in terms of how that can apply in immersive storytelling or mixed reality use cases. Extended reality, I suppose, is a term that the industry uses. The workflow for using Unreal and real-time engines in virtual production is still evolving, but what we're, what's really exciting is the fact that we can see the combination of techniques such as photogrammetry with our traditional 3D artists coming together to create cinematic, photorealistic scenes that are really beneficial for virtual production and help to unlock productions at a time when it's difficult for those, those productions to get geared up and going. I think this again is something that filmmakers, program makers have just been longing for. The ability to control all the aspects of reality within a set that in every other respect can look completely convincing and photorealistic. So again I think this is going to be a, a bit of a revolution in filmmaking. Yeah, I think so and I think from Dimension's point of view we haven't done it yet but the next stage of this along with building the, the virtual worlds on the LED wall is to bring all our capabilities about virtual humans uh, and do digital actors that are totally three-dimensional and totally believable and put those into the mix as well. How can we take virtual production in this context to the next level? And I think Dimension's got a lot to offer there.